Whoa. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm at Coachella. <laughs> I'm just here weekend playing. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Liza Koshy. She's one of the internet's biggest superstars with tens of millions of subscribers, a few billion views between a pair of channels, and you can also catch her in the second season of Liza On Demand, which is out now on YouTube Premium. Liza Koshy, welcome to the show. Yeah, it is. Thank you. My favorite thing is your eyebrow when you switch cameras, so oh, it is an honor to be here. I'm you notice fan. the big, small things, you oh, know? Always. Big, small. Love them big or small. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually carry hot sauce in your bag? Like, how's your spice tolerance? Oh man, I wish I had my bag here. I do not have hot sauce in it today, but I'm a Cholula type girl, which is mostly like sodium. <laughs> but I like it like a little dab of hot sauce on my food when I travel. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm hungry. Diving in. That's Cholula. That's some good chicken right there. These are pretty good wings today. These are great wings today. You came on the right day. Yeah, you came on the right day. You shamed them for the other episodes, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. This is moist. <clears throat> So as we touched on in your intro, you have a pair of channels, Liza Koshy and Liza Koshy 2, combined, mm -hmm. 25 million plus subscribers, billions of views. What's the biggest <laughs> slap on the wrist that you've ever gotten filming inside a grocery or big box store? I got kicked out of Ikea. Three Ikeas. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Burbank. The other one in Burbank, because there was two open at the same time at one point. And then there was another one like 12 miles away. But I got kicked out of it because I was doing the worm and they saw me on the security camera. And, and they came like, in and kicked me. Yep. Liza's doing the worm and then yep. they rappelled down the walls and, uh, and took you out in handcuffs. Yep, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though because the security guard like watched my videos and was like, love your stuff, but you gotta get out. I didn't finish that one, but I'm gonna finish the rest. Oh, she's good. Is she, does she have like green chili peppers? Do you know the language of origin of this one? So. It's funny you mentioned that. This is actually inspired by me. <gasps> so Small Axe made that sauce mm -hmm. for this. I'm from Chicago, so they're doing like this like sort of jar nara, sort of run it through the garden hot dog, put some wheels on it, hot sauce. I see it now, y'all look alike. That's good. <laughs> That's good. So mm. in my humble opinion, the red carpet interview, it's the most daunting assignment in all of media. There's no way to prepare yourself for everything that gets thrown at you. The speed of it, it is so fast. And then the assignment is literally trying to get a usable soundbite from someone walking by you trying to get into the party. Mm -hmm. How would you detail the ups and downs of that experience at the Met Gala where all of those knobs are cranked up to 10? You are so well-spoken. I enjoy conversation with you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You make me wish I went to more years of college so that I could be more um, You got that one under your belt. <laughs> Just that one. Where'd I go to school? Hold on, you went to school. You do your research, you say you do. I do, I do. So it was so in- So where is it, Sean? It was in Texas. Yeah. Come on, go for it. It's at the tip of your tongue. Just like this Was it like Texas mine. State or something? No, University of Houston. University of Houston. Go Cougs! Cougars. Um, yeah, <laughs> Cougars! <laughs> Ups and downs are literally the stairs that people come up on because I have to see Madonna walk from the very bottom of the carpet all the way up the stairs. For each person that walks up, it's just that level of anxiety that you're trying to like subdue so that you can just be a human in front of them. I definitely changed per person. Like when Harry Styles came out, it was not the same reaction. <laughs> it was more like, hello, Mr. Harry Styles. And I went into like an English accent of sorts. I don't know. I was like trying to make him feel more at home or comfortable or something. Um, might've been offensive, but it's fine. What is it like interviewing Kim Kardashian when Kanye's doing that Kanye thing where he's standing <laughs> next to her looking bored on the carpet? Funny enough, so they went, <laughs> thank you for acknowledging my truth. That's literally what everybody was saying um, in the comments on the interview, but it was basically like, Kanye came up and Kanye said to me like, hey, I'm not gonna be answering any questions. Tonight's her night. Tonight's about her. 
cameras were not rolling. There's no proof of any of this. Y'all think I'm lying, I know. But that's that's exactly what he said. So then I just, all my attention was at her and then I threw a compliment to him at the end and made Kanye smile. All hell's about to break loose. Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm gonna turn into like a human rocket this, yeah. ship at some point. <laughs> I know. So it is worth pointing out, you're from Houston, Texas. Is it hard to get a good fajita here in Los Angeles? It's not possible, Sean. No, I know what good fajita is, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how you properly say it. So <laughs> good fajitas are basically marinated in pineapple and lime juice. The acidity breaks it down, makes it real tender, real soft, real juicy. It's a fantastic time. Tex-Mex, that's good food. Do you remember what it was like when Vine hit Lamar High School? It was my junior year. I was 17. This app came out and everybody was downloading it and I gave into peer pressure and downloaded it too. <laughs> it was just like, I'm gonna make some videos sharing with my six friends. It's kind of like a big group chat. Did being popular like on social media, does that translate to being popular in the classroom? Like, could you see some sort of shift within the school walls? Um, I was pretty obnoxious in real life throughout my high school experience. And so when Vine kind of happened, people just, it was a pretty normal, like... Extension of your personality? Yeah, they were like, okay, yeah, she's just doing the same thing, but online. And then when it started taking off, people were asking me what I was doing or how I was doing it. But uh, they treated me the same. They kept me humble. We keep it real humble in Houston, Texas. All right, what's this one? Los Calientes. Ooh, me gusta. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Hmm. So you're part of a very small group of internet stars who parlayed their success on the platform to enter the world of TV and film. Mm -hmm. Why do you think beyond the bag, there's still this lure for creators to work with networks when the audience that you can build independently will smash mm -hmm. most cable channels? Hmm. With that, yeah. I'm gonna film out. <laughs> I'll be right back. We'll be right back after these messages. Um, I think, honestly, it's just, at least for me, it was a way for me to like experiment outside of my own home. And like, I made all my videos by myself. And for me, that was like an isolating experience where I was like talking to a wall instead of a person. So for me, it was exciting to step into Double Dare and host on Nickelodeon because I got to perform in front of kids. Have but you learned how to balance the sort of expertise of others versus your own instincts? Because I'm not mm. as deep into it as you are, but at least from what I can kind of gather from experiencing things, you know, like there's this weird sort of thing where the network, the production company, and the individual, right? The mm. creator, we all have the same goal. Yeah. But then the network might be like, you know, hey, we're paying for this. Like, we have the final say. Sure. And then the production company is like, we're building this. We have the final say. Sure, and then yeah. you might say, well, hey, I've built this audience. You came knocking on my door. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe you should listen to me more. Yeah, and that's where I get very picky with the experiences that I have, right? Like, I have to make sure that whatever, whoever I'm aligning with or working with, I truly do align with them, and that I'm given a blank canvas as an artist. She's an artist, she's so deep. Um, and, and be like my authentic self and my own personality, which is what people have, apparently, thank you, have liked. So that's what's cool about like my experience with Nickelodeon, my experience with Vogue. They really trusted me and trusted my voice to like bring something fun to their network or channel. Ooh, uh, headless horseradish. I felt that in my nostrils first. Yeah, it's uh, it's cranking up a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On my lips. Spicy got a little sum sum right there. Hey, thanks. Good looking out, Liza. Of course, I got you. Do I got anything? Am I good? You're clean. You're clean. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. I'm gonna keep going, though. There you go. Warrior spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right, Liza, we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Graham, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. Mm -hmm. So we will put up the first picture on the monitor. You just tell us the bigger story. Give it to me. Can you give us the BTS on taking a picture with Jared Leto's <laughs> severed head? Jared Leto and I did an interview for the Met, and he came up, and he said, oh, I interviewed with you last year. You, you're funny. And I was like, oh, my God. I couldn't even like process the information because his eyes were looking at me, yeah. as eyes do. And the compliment that he gave to me, cut that out. 
Anna personally edited that one, I swear. But afterwards, I saw him at the party and he like reintroduced himself again and he was just so sweet. And I was like, can I please take a picture of you with your head? So I got a two for one then. It. Was he walking around the gal like just holding that thing or like would it go out on the table while he went to the bar? Or, like was it traveling with him? It was traveling everywhere with him. So he was like in a booth or in the same booth as me in that club. That was a corner of the club. And he was just chilling next to him. I think he had his arm around him. Yeah, I think he had his arm around him. I'm gonna go for that because that's a better story. What's the backstory on the buns out? The literal backstory? The literal backstory. Okay, yeah, so my booty was out. Anna gave me five options, like five different like black dresses. And I chose that lacy option. I thought it was beautiful. And I thought I was going to be wearing shorts underneath it. And instead, we went with like a thong option. And then I think it was a reverend that showed up to the Met or somebody. And we slid on shorts so damn fast. And then the religious figure passed by and then we took them off. Scorpion four pepper sauce blend. I have so much chicken all over my nails. I'm taking <laughs> leftovers home, baby. Baby. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay, let's go. Mm. I regret that being on my lip. That's gonna burn. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Right. An emotional roller coaster, mm -hmm. this one? Always, every day. <laughs> I was just opening my eyes for the edit. I was hoping that like scary music was playing over that. If not, do it again. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Getting real over here. Yeah, I've been taking two bites of each. I'm gonna continue that pattern. I'm regretting it right now. Yep. So the why I quit YouTube video is kind of to mm -hmm. vloggers. What the why I'm leaving New York essay is to writers. Is it almost a requisite part of being a creator these days? You think that part of that arc is shutting off the faucet for a while? I think so. I think just as like, oh, I'm tearing up. <laughs> it's Ciao. happening. It is happening. Oh no, I'm good. I'm waiting for myself to get high. Be careful around your eyes. This is the part where I have to remind people. Even though like it might be hard for you to even touch your eye like if you wanted to. I can't, it's hard to wipe, things, it's hard yeah. to touch my eye. Which is maybe a good thing right now. Anybody with acrylic nails is making strong life decisions. I, I cannot feel below my nose. Okay. Um, what's the question? <laughs> I think that you, you need to take a break and kind of like pull out of the reality that you've created for yourself and just kind of like examine life for a second. And for me, I needed to go like live life and just let myself breathe and appreciate myself and the world and like just travel and like became more cultured so I could come back and create my characters with accents based off of the people I studied <laughs> while traveling. Brought in your perspective <laughs> I studied abroad, a little bit. that's yeah. what I did, yeah. <laughs> and then you've done some videos where you'll react to teens reacting to you or yeah. you'll read mead comments about yourself. Wait, is that wet underneath there? Real quick. A little moisture going on, a little moisture there. I'm good. A little I'm wet good. lip. Do you have a hack for how to separate constructive criticism from just like the unhinged, weirdo, angry energy? Mm, it's a skill and it's tough skin. I'm just gonna pick my nose while I answer this question. Go ahead. It's a skill and there are some that's just gonna be criticism and then there's some that are like constructive criticism and you know that too. Cause it's nice that it's like a focus group. You know, like yeah. some people pay so much money to get the information yeah. that like your audience just provides you for free. I know. And then I think it helps with their connection to the show cause they're actively shaping and informing what they see. Yeah. So then they're closer to it than like anything they'd they'd watch on TV. For but sure. there's some give and take to that. For sure. And there you, you definitely have to like make a filing cabinet in your brain of like, these comments are like hurtful and I'm okay, emotionally in tune and I feel everything and I'm an empath, but that's okay. I think Instagram is a, like a more positive place to let go and like new compliments. Like, yo, you look great or congratulations on getting engaged with. But YouTube is more like, okay, I'm creating and the creator wants feedback. Different worlds. You're going on to like different worlds. Twitter's, Twitter is uh, opinionated. It's where the most smoke is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of... A lot of therapeutic releases on that, on that platform. Well, speaking of smoke. God, that was a good transition. Hey. Oh, you're good at They don't this. teach that. Damn, they don't. Guess where it's made? 
Houston, Texas? Baby. That's right. <laughs> Come on, this is going to be good. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, the effects over that one was good, huh? <laughs> Damn, your editors are good. Giving them a lot to work with. Today. Uh huh? Mm hmm. I feel like I'm going to see my future self like pop up and warn me, like, don't do this. This is a bad move. <laughs> and then like disappear behind the wall. <laughs> she tried to stop me. <laughs> Woo! But she can't back. be stopped. Uh-uh. Going back in. Uh-uh. As someone who split their time between Texas, New York, and Los Angeles, can you rank the following restaurants from best to worst? Oh my God, give it to me, this is fun. Shake Shack, In-N-Out, Whataburger. Oh, Hinny. Okay, Whataburger, number one. No question. People from Texas ride so hard for Whataburger. Oh, so hard. Like, I don't understand why it's compared Whataburger and In-N-Out. Because In-N-Out, you just get a basic burger. Whataburger, you get whatever your heart desires. Whataburger's fantastic. They have the patty melt. They have all this, like, like a chicken tender sandwich. It's a good time. Honey butter chicken biscuit? Delicious. In-N-Out, then Shake Shack, only because I love animal fries. Like, when the animal fries, like, cool down, and it's just all like one big chunk stuck together. That's how I like to eat it. All right. Mm -hmm. We're bringing uh, another napkin real quick. Oh my God, thank you. Have you seen this one? This one's disgusting, <laughs> girl. What is happening to this crust over here? Can I throw this in the trash? Go you don't ahead, want that go bad. Ahead. Okay, cool. No, I take good care of my napkin. It's been like this the whole time. But real quick, a Whataburger animal style, that'd be dope. Well, there you go. Yeah. Inventing. That'd be pretty spanking good, dude. Yeah, it would be. Okay. The bomb. I know. <laughs> you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I watched this damn show, Sean. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's what you do. That's what you do so you don't eat it. Five that's seconds roll in the studio. <laughs> do you want to? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, the bomb. My life choices. How are you doing over there? Pretty good. Holding up. It's my responsibility, I feel. I'm so glad I'm brown, because like I won't turn red. Unless there's an effect. But <laughs> I won't turn red. Colin. Turn, turn that up. knob. Crank that shit up. Turn that knob. Do it, Colin. <laughs> also, Colin, you're great. He Let's is. Him, He's wonderful. Shout out Colin Higgins. Doesn't get enough love. Yeah, go Colin. Oh, I just realized I bit my lip. A couple days ago, it's still healing up. It is there. It is the bomb reminded there. you? It is in the crevices. Are you going back in or? Yeah. What's the weirdest YouTube genre that you've ever discovered on accident? Recently, I found this guy and he just sits motionless for hours on end. What? Who does that? Did you subscribe? No, but his views were pretty good. Because <laughs> you've been watching it. <laughs> he doesn't need me, yeah. Uh, um, wow, that's a lot more saliva than I thought I could produce. Yeah. But I think I think the weirdest I've seen was like doll dissecting. Oh. That's just like a psychopath in the making right there. But they literally like would take syringes and put them into dolls, and it was like you were playing doctor in a psychotic way. Right, you ain't you ain't really playing doctor. Yeah, the internet. So you ain't really playing doctor. The internet's a weird place you can find anything. Which creator do you think has the most fervent fan base? Hmm. My instinct is to say PewDiePie because he has the biggest fan base on YouTube and. They're just like so devoted to him. They like constantly support him. And then I know that you're very self-deprecating when it comes to your <laughs> celebrity impressions, but oh, is God. there one that you think is actually pretty good? Ah, uh, this is a really bad joke. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Oh God, let me see if I can remember it after suffering this whole time. Um, it's my Beyonce impression mixed with an awful joke. When Beyonce asks Jay-Z a question, what does she say? What does she say? JY.
know what's nice is like, I look into your eyes and you've done this many times, but you you look like you're, you're scared to take that bite too. Yeah, because I've done it many times. <laughs> you keep coming back. Sounds like a personal problem. Well, what am I going to do? You know? <laughs> I'm glad you have. This is my favorite show. My Aww. favorite interview, dude. Thank you, yeah. There's like a compilation of you getting compliments, by the way. If you ever need an ego boost, it's on YouTube. <laughs> well, some, you know what? And sometimes I do. And sometimes I do. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm at Coachella. <laughs> oh shit. The weekend's playing. How do you explain TikTok to a fully grown adult chicken wing talk show host who has no idea what's going <laughs> on there? <laughs> TikTok has had an evolution. I will say, it's really interesting to watch because it was originally called Musical.ly. TikTok now, I think is like today's Vine. It's becoming this place for people to create sketches and like make really funny videos. <clears throat> you burping off camera again? I'm burping on camera. Oh, nice! That's how we do it. That's bold. how we do it. Mm. When Vine died, did you mourn it? Oh my god, yeah. Pouring out every time. <laughs> every time. I will pour out the drinks that we have not touched. By the way. Hey. Beast! <laughs> I think something landed in my eye on that one. <laughs> We're good. Caught some shrapnel. Mm -hmm. Is it still there? You're good. Nothing's there? You're okay. good. I miss it so much. I actually created a whole another account on Instagram just to upload really short videos that are about like six to 12 seconds long. But sure. then too is like, if you're in like all these different platforms, I guess on something like Vine, which is so massively popular yeah. and then launches so many people's careers, but then it can disappear like that. Yeah, and it literally did, man. Everybody got fired out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> like the app just like, was like, okay, we're taking this down. Everybody's resumes were just gone. Right. So anything they had ever really created other than like it living and continuing to live on YouTube. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. This is the last dab. We call it the last dab because it's tradition around here to put a little extra on oh. the last wing. I know. That looks literally like what I'm about to see in 30 minutes. <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, I'm going to. I know that. I almost said that with you word for word. <laughs> Damn. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. It really does look like doo-doo doo -doo sauce. We might change the name. I'm not letting that touch my lips. Whoa. That flavor is popping. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liza Koshi. my blood vessels? I'm sorry, go ahead, congratulate me. <laughs> okay, Liza Koshi, here we are at the end of our trip uh -huh. down the wing gauntlet, but before yeah. we put a bow on this episode, I think that's important that we hear from some of the other characters in the Liza Koshi universe. So, if you'll humor me, mm -hmm. I'll hit you with some prompts, mm -hmm. and then you can channel these Liza Koshi alter egos, okay? Okay. Hey, Jet, how do you think Liza handled her spice today? Very good. Very spicy. I knew that was the way she liked it. <laughs> Sorry I did that with my mouth full. <laughs> Helga, if you're a guest in season 11, what do you think you'll have to do to outperform Liza? Not shit a break afterwards like she's going to. <laughs> and then, little Liza, are you proud of what Liza's become? Look at her, eating scorching hot chicken wings here on YouTube. You make me cry, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm really proud. She did a really good job. She was really nervous when she started this, and right now there's some wet shit coming out of her nose. <laughs> But I'm really proud of her. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. Woo! And look at you, Liza Koshi, all the way mm. down the mm. chicken wing mm. gauntlet. Mm. Now there's nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you, my friend. Let's go. This camera, this camera, this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your you life. Guys, I literally stepped into this so scared. I was facing my fears. You can ask my, my team back there. <laughs> I was terrified. And this was actually like the most fun I've ever had during an interview. <laughs> guys. Make sure to check out Liza On Demand. It is coming out September 25th, season two. Season one is now completely free on YouTube. It's a good time. It's a really good time. Thank you for letting me have a good time here, man. Hey. Woo, you're not so bad after all. Cut that shit now. Oh, oh, oh. Are you assholes leaving this part in? You totally are, oh my God. That was awful. <laughs>
That was an experience. Yeah. What is up, Spice Lords? Camera Guy Bill here. I know we've retired the laptop this season and you all miss me, but I want you to know that I'm still hard at work behind the camera. If you liked today's episode, it would mean a lot to me and the rest of the Hot Ones crew to give us a little like or a little subscribe. It would really mean a lot. This is Camera Guy Bill here saying, it's good to be Camera Guy Bill. <laughs>